Ghost powers, activate! Where are my ghosts? Oh, look at how much damage they're doing. Oh, ghosts. Oh, poor golem, poor golem. How's it going, crew? This is Happy Days, and welcome back to our expert Thorium Bard, super modded, all that good stuff. Let's play. And as you can see, no, 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 I've got one hit point. I'm all right, I'm all right. It's all under control. It's all under control, people. As you can see, we are in the dungeon, and now we are trying to explore and get some new resources to craft our next material and no no stay back stay back i'm gonna leave i'm not dying in the intro no no ah, we're gonna i thought i was gonna make it Okay, people, let's try this again. I can see it bonely. I want to get Master Ninja Gear. That would actually be a pretty nice accessory to get. Ah! And we are down here. We're collecting dark matter. And a few of you reminded me there's actually an awesome bard weapon. Uh, no, not a weapon. Oh, I don't think so. There's actually some bard armor that you can make with dark matter. So that is actually really awesome. And that will help us because we are just about to fight Golem and the Moon Lord this episode. So I can't believe how quickly we are making it through Britney's adventure. But uh, I'm very excited for all of that. Also, if you look at my inventory bar, I've been farming. I farmed a bunch of the... Oh, here's all the skeletons that were fighting me before. Right. I'm going to take all of you out, you crazy skeletons. Ah, there we go. No match for us now. And, oh, random chest. I'll take a gold key. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so I farmed up a Heart of Nature from Plantera. It's got a 10% drop chance, but it actually gives you an extra inventory slot. I mean, accessory slot. So let's see if it works. You right click it and yes, we got another accessory slot. <gasps> so good. The mod's called uh, More Accessories. And a few of you have been asking me for the mod list. I didn't think anyone was reading it, but no, nope, no nope, skeletons. No, nope, just stay back. Don't kill me. Um, a lot of people have been asking for the mod list, so I'll update it in the description today. And uh, I'll go back and update the other videos as well. So thanks for your patience with that, guys. But uh, yeah, so we have an extra accessory slot now. So I'll put on my Grim Subwoofer. That looks pretty cool. But uh, yeah, I don't think I need... No, no. What is... What is that thing? A crystal zombie and a crystal archer? That's cool. And what's that shining gemstone thing? Oh, I think we found them in the crystal biome before. That's kind of cool. And another shadow key because why not? But uh, anyway, I'm going to farm up some of this stuff and let's do some crafting, guys. Yep, I uh, I died. I'm, <laughs> oh no! Oh my goodness! What on earth has happened to my bard weapons on my weapon racks? It's turned into random junk. <laughs> has this happened to you guys? I don't know. Mods do crazy stuff sometimes. Anyway, guys, we're gonna open up our treasure bags. See if we can get the new bard weapon from Abyssian. I farmed up a few. Are you ready? Three, two, one. Boom, 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 boom. Did I get it? Yes, that's it. Siren's Lyre. And it does ooh, projectile attack. Can't wait to see that in battle. But I don't think I need any of the other stuff. So let's drop that in, in there for now. And I'm excited, guys. We're going to make a new set of bard armor. Plus two weapons you guys were really asking for. So I got a bunch of dark matter. Here it is. It's the conductor's set. So let's get that. I need it. And the NPCs are fighting over there. What on earth are you doing, you crazy NPCs? Oh my gosh. Okay, we got that. So let's get that equipped. And as always, I'll take off Brittany's vanity so you can see what it looks like. Oh, she looks like an official pink conductor now. And what's the set bonus? If you push special ability, you get a chorus of ghosts. What? No! I've got ghosts. I've got music ghosts. Oh, bad powers. Oh, goodness. Ooh, that's actually kind of cool. So what, do they like hurt enemies or something? Whoa, I can't wait to try that against a boss. Now, the other thing we need to do, if we go up to our soul forge, we should be able to make some weapons. Yes, we got the bassoon. And we can also make the clarinet. So let's put those in our inventory there. And let's see what these look. This looks like a rocket launcher. Ooh, whoa, it like fires like big 400 damage. No, I'm invincible. And this one does. Oh, check it out. That might be pretty useful against the pillars, I reckon. So one last thing I want to do is I talked about maybe using Master Ninja Gear. So I farmed up the tabby and the black belt. So there we go, we can craft that now, and I'll probably replace my Shield of Cthulhu with that, because, yeah, it pretty much does the same thing, but better. So guys, I think it's time for a bit of golem action, let's raid the temple. 
Ah, yes, people, we finally found the temple, and I am so excited because in here... Oh, goodness, spiky traps. No, Mimic, no. <laughs> that actually tricks me. I didn't realize it was a Mimic. Oh, goodness. Um, yeah, I'm going really... Now I'm laughing. Silly Mimic, ghost powers, activate. Yes, oh, my gosh. They're amazing. Ghost powers, slightly better than bat powers. Oh, goodness. Oh, what on earth is that? Um, yeah, I'm, ex no, I'm laughing. Stop it, Happy. Oh, um, yeah, I'm excited because we can craft the next, um, inspiration upgrade. I think they're called, like, Epiphany Shards or something like that. And I need, that's what I need, Solar Pebbles. And check it out, Epiphany Crystals. Okay, I was close. What? What? Oh, it's a monkey. I'm like, what? What is that thing? Oh my gosh, what are these things doing? Oh, so we need to collect those little crystals. Throwing on a heel too. I'm getting slammed. Oh, power cells. I'm going to need those. Beautiful. Oh gosh. So yeah, we'll collect some of those. And I think there might even be some new weapons uh, that I can make from them. Hang on. There's a saxophone. There's a music book. Oh, wow. That looks cool. So yeah, we'll definitely have to do a tiny bit of the old fa- oh, oh! Have we got more ghost powers? They're almost ready! Save me, ghost, save me! Ooh! Okay, it's alright. We've got ghost power. It's all under control. Ooh! Okay, I wish they, like, followed you around, but that would probably be a bit overpowered, so... Ooh! No, 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 no! Stop it, traps! Stop it! Ooh! It's okay. This actual- this bassoon weapon's actually pretty cool. I am quite enjoying that. And no! No! Ah, Danger Sense Potions. I should have used that before. I realized I picked one up, but I didn't use it. But hey, it's all under control now, people. And oh, we're in the Golem Chamber. And oh my gosh, what is that thing? Stop hitting me. Ah! Okay. Oh, I should put Ghost Powers here. That will help. Ah, beautiful. So this is a little bit scary. This is a kind of small Golem Chamber. So hopefully I'll be able to maneuver enough in here. So what I'll do, guys, I'll get some platforms down. I think I'll collect some more Solar Pebbles, but we'll make the weapons up after we beat Golem. I think I should be okay with what I've got now. So let's zoom ahead. I don't know, guys. This is a pretty small room. So let's put our new organ down, which should use some ghosts against Golem. Let's get our buffs on. Let's get this party started in three, two, one. Boom. Oh, I missed. <laughs> oh, goodness. So I think my tambourines are going to be... Oh, wow. The tambourines are pretty insane. Get out of here, normal enemy. What are you doing? Ghost powers. Activate. Where are my ghosts? Oh, look at how much damage they're doing. Oh, ghosts. <laughs> poor golem, poor golem. Oh, goodness. Okay, I'm out of inspiration. Let's move around a bit here. Okay, we need to... Yep. Oh, my gosh. We're shredding golem to pieces. Oh, no. Oh, ghost, you're amazing. Oh, goodness. So, um, okay, that was that was pretty easy. Oh, another torn note. I think I think we're done with torn notes now. I can see you get away from me, Angry Chapper. Uh, I wouldn't mind getting a celestial stone, so a sunstone would be nice. Let's open this up in three, two, one, boom! What did I get? The stinger? Okay, that's not too bad. Oh, beetle husk. Do they make any bad stuff? No. Ow! Ow! What's that? What's that? Anyway, I might farm a few golems, seeing how easy that actually was. <laughs> Oh goodness people, it's late at night and I've got caught out in the dark and scary countryside but we're going to make our way back to base. We're not too far from home which is nice. And I'm excited because we're going to finally craft the last tier of our inspiration notes. The um, What were they called? Epiphany crystals or something. So I need a demon altar but this cool little uh, this crafting station here can actually do that. So if we go to, don't need those, if I go to my solar pebbles and click that. Oh, here we go. So I'm assuming I can make 10 of them. Uh, so let's see. I'm going to make 11. Oh, can I make 11? No, I'm a bud short. I'm a bud short. I'm one short. But that should be enough anyway. So let's click that. Beautiful. So I think like each one is like one inspiration point or something. So oh, look at my thingy. It's gold now. It's gold and blue and oh, wow. So it goes gold. 
and then wow that's cool so I should be able to cast quite a lot of spells now and the other thing we can craft if I go over here there was that little uh, strawberry guitar I wanted to make so let's make that I don't know if it's strong enough for now but we'll, we'll make it anyway uh, there was the double bass book uh, a lot of you want me to use more of the music thingies. And then our lizard saxophone. <gasps> so much stuff. So let's put them in here. And let's have a quick little look at our new weapons. And oh my gosh, pink guitar. It suits Brittany perfect. And whoa! Look at the... Oh, they like rebound. <gasps> That's actually pretty... That would have been really good against Golem. Oh, and how's the saxophone? Whoa! It does like... Oh, that's cool. And the double bass... Gives me ammo consumption boost. Okay, I don't really need that on uh, Brittany, but uh, that'd be good for multiplayer. So I think I'll stick with my musical ghost for now. But uh, we'll wait for morning, and it's time to start the pillars. Why, hello, little life fruit. Don't think I've forgotten about you. And uh, I just realized I haven't got all the life fruits yet. So I'm having a quick stomp through the jungle and just seeing if I can pick up a few extra life fruits before uh, we fight the lunatic cultists. So I'm up to 11 so far far and my inventory keeps filling up with junk but that's gonna get me I think most of the way let's see how many am I up to I need three more still oh my gosh I've been looking for ages but uh hey what are you gonna do people but I thought that's probably a good idea because once we start the pillars uh obviously I don't want to be messing around farming in the jungle so yeah but anyway I'll find these and then we'll fight the cultists let's go you know, I've always kind of wondered what does actual life fruit taste like? Is it like a banana or a pineapple? And oh, hello, Mr. Boar, who's caused me trouble my whole adventure. Well, you can just die. <laughs> oh, gee, they just... <sighs> I remember in the first episode or the second one, the boar kept attacking me. <laughs> oh, crazy boar. Anyway, we are ready for battle here, guys. And let's hit the cultists with the Prime's Roar. That should increase some of the damage I can do to it, which will be pretty nice. And let's use, oh, yes, some of those nice homing effects. Very, very good indeed. All right, we'll try our saxophone. I think saxophone's kind of nice, although it doesn't home, uh, which is a bit scary. But we'll keep rotating our weapons to get all the buffs onto Brittany, which helps out quite a bit. Although I think my... Oh, no! I summoned a second cultist, Happy. You crazy chicken, what are you doing? Ooh! I think my favorite weapon is still the green tambourine. Is, is that a boar up there? I think it just... It's, it attacks so fast. And it doesn't really use too much inspiration. So I don't need to like stop to regenerate it. Hang on. No! No! Not again! What are you doing, Happy? Stop summoning so many cultists. Woo! Well, we might be okay. We might be okay. We're doing a fair bit of damage. And the boar is... No, no, no. The boar died. We've got a boar casualty, people. Boar down. Boar down. Woo! Okay, how long have we heal? Have I got... I'm like 28 seconds. Oh, I used the ghost. The ghost. No ghost powers. Yes. Finish it. Oh, I'm getting so low. No! Oh, don't die, don't die, Brittany. Yes, we did it. Ooh. Ooh. There was so much boar. Ooh. Okay, what's that? A celestial idol? That's cool. 10 defense, ancient stars, magic damage. Wow, that's pretty cool. And a lightning sphere. Oh my gosh, so many mods. That's crazy. Now, this will probably have the cultist weapons in it. Uh, yeah, it's got the robe. It's got like some of the magic stuff. That's kind of cool, but we don't really need that right at this moment but there's normally a pillar that spawns like literally on top of you hang on it's nebula whoa people whoa. but um i was actually thinking we just fought the pillars oh goodness no brain suckler uh, we just fought the pillars relatively recently in Dante's adventure. So what I might do is a bit more of a montage this time, uh, especially for people who are watching both series. So let's uh, zoom up and see what we can get. see so the last thing I need of the miner is I think I need platinum or gold bars so as you can see I have purchased a stack of bars from him uh, I mentioned in the montage we're going to be crafting uh, terrarium cores which is a pretty cool item it's one of the end game uh, thorium items so let's make quite a few of those we'll make as many as we can a hundred oh wow that's kind of cool and uh, as you can see guys this makes 
quite a few endgame weapons and accessories. There's actually bard stuff we can make. Uh, it's a terrarium auto harp. So let's make one of those and whoa! Oh, I think that might be homing. Just what I needed. Now we got a bunch of the shooting star fragments, which is the special bard fragment. And there's two weapons we can make, Sound, Sound Sage Lament and a Rockstar Double Base. So let's make those. Oh yes, I'm getting excited now, guys. Now, I need... I can't make the armor until I get uh, Luminite or and this other Turbo Tubo or whatever it is. So we'll hold off on that. Now, I have a box here. There's also a few other things we're going to make quickly. I believe I can upgrade some boots. So I upgraded my Frost Spark to Firestorm and now I can make Particle Sprinters which is pretty nice. Uh, I also can make the Terrarium Surround Sound, just with a Subwoofer and Terrarium Cores, which is also pretty awesome. And finally, we're going to upgrade our Leaf Wings to Terrarium Wings. So that's a pretty nice upgrade. Now, there is another thing I want to make. I want to make this Terrarium Defender, but I'll probably do that next episode. And I also noticed that this turns into the Rhapsodus Soul from Fargowitz uh, Mutant Mod. Uh, and that might be a good item to make for uh, the Ragnarok fight. And I've already got some of the stuff. I've got the digital tuner. I've got the epic mouthpiece. So, yeah, I just need to get a few of these other items. I've already got the saxophone. So that's probably going to be pretty sweet for Ragnarok. But let's have a little look at our new weapons here. Beautiful. And where do I have another one? Yes, I made that. Okay, let's see what the Lament does. Whoa, it does like a beam attack. That's kind of nice. And the guitar, whoa, oh, it makes stuff fall out of the sky. Yes, yes, I think I needed these weapons for the Moon Lord, or we were going to struggle a little bit, but we might be okay now, guys. So I'm going to make a quick arena, we'll fight the last pillar, and then we're on to the Moon Lord. Okay, guys, we've almost defeated the last pillar, and I am quite enjoying these new bard weapons, especially the double bass guitar. It is pretty nice. It, it does really high direct damage, and uh, yeah, you don't have to mess around too much with it. So that is very much, very, very nice indeed. But uh, as you can see, we are taking this out. Oh my gosh. Oh, the guitar bouncers do so much damage. But uh, the Moon Lord is approaching now. I've set up a, an arena I've used before, um, but I'm not sure. I'm, I'm thinking I'll go use Fishron for it instead of the usual bat powers. Um, but we'll see how it goes anyway. So basically, uh, I've got a few heart generators around. And when you fly through the honey and stuff, uh, you get a bit of a speed boost. So that's kind of nice. Um, so hopefully that works. But anyway, we'll refresh our buffs. We'll get ready for the Moon Lord. And here it comes, people. I hope you're ready. I am pumped to see how Bard goes versus the Moon Lord. Oh my gosh! Did you see how much damage we were doing to the hands? Oh! Okay, I'm going to have to try and get a good attack on the forward eye here. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, that's that it has a bit more defense by the looks of it. Okay, I missed the Phantasmal Death Ray. Very nice. Let's use some of our other Bard weapons. Oh, it's hard to see the Bard meter um, with the darker screen, but that's okay. We'll try our best here. Okay, using the different weapons, trying to get all those beautiful buffs active. Yes. So I guess what I'm going to really have to do is try... Whoa, no, I'm going to get hit. No. Oh, we just avoided it. Okay, this is going to be a bit of an endurance race to try and beat that uh, that forward eye there. But I guess I'm just going to have to prioritize it uh, when it appears. But we do get massive speed boost from our um, our new boot. So that's kind of cool. All right, there we go. I might need to get a rod of discord. Ooh, but uh, yeah, oh no, oh no, I'm taking a lot of damage. This could be bad, guys. This could be bad. Ooh. Oh, we'll keep trying, we'll keep trying. I have to try and get that forward eye. Okay, come on, appear, you crazy eye. Ooh. All right, let's get some nice. Got some inspiration ready. Oh, no, no, I lost. Okay guys, we've got the core open and as you can see, I've had to zoom out for this battle uh, because this was actually pretty tough, so I'm going Calamity Death Mode style on this one. But uh, I am finding that my tambourines are helping out quite a bit, um, just because they seem to do a little bit quicker damage, although I do have to stop to uh, let them come back to me because otherwise they just group up. But uh, yeah, we seem to be okay, perhaps my heart generators are uh, helping a lot, but that's one of the benefits of knowing how to set up farms and stuff in Terraria, which is the one thing I love doing. 
But uh, yeah, it looks like we've got the core about halfway. And uh, yeah, I'm just alternating weapons. The Sage's Lament weapon doesn't seem that good. I don't know, it, it shoots too far away from you. But uh, hey, what are you going to do, people? But it does look like we're getting some nice damage in now. No, don't jump off the fish, Ron Happy. Stick with what's working for you. Ooh, okay, let's get our inspiration charged up. And let's just smash that core. Look at that, getting some nice hits in there. Beautiful. It's down to like 26,000. I think we might be okay. Ooh, come back to me, tambourine. Come back to the happy. All right, throwing on a heal. We're getting a little bit low. Oh, goodness. Okay, it's down to 12,000. Okay, let's pick up a few hearts for happy. Very nice. And look at all the tambourines. Ooh, all right, let's go through here. Beautiful. We'll dodge a few phantasmal death rays. Okay, it's down to 2,000. I think we're right. Yes, yes, we did it. Whoop, 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 whoop. Oh, my goodness. Ooh, that was a real endurance sort of battle. I don't know. It was pretty crazy. But uh, hey, we've done it. There's loot everywhere. And I've been picking up things from my heart generators. Exotic bouquet. Oh, that's kind of cool. But uh, let's just turn those off quickly. There we go. Turn those off. Turn off the crazy. Make sure we got all the loot. I got the Moon Lord trophy. No way. We got a torn note. As always, hey, Nimbus Cloud, get away from me. Ooh, but let's go and hang out with the Dryad. Nice and safe in here. Let's get rid of some of this elemental stuff I don't need. Oh, I got the robot hat. Oh, Brittany, there you go. You can have a robot hat for now. And uh, I don't know what we want from the treasure bag. Just lots of luminite ore. Are you ready, guys? Three, two, one, boom. 93, that's pretty good. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's the Lucio gun. Oh, we got it. No way. Oh, let's break that's it. That's insane. Damn. So it has a healing. It has a healing attack and... Oh, no way. That is insane. I, I even forgot you could get it. <gasps> Does some pretty nice damage, too. Wow. It looks like it was boosting my life a bit. That's kind of amazing. But uh, anyway, so all we've got left now is Ragnarok, uh, which is pretty cool. And uh, we will do a bit of a, a showcase because you can get new armor sets and weapons from Ragnarok as well. But looking at the time there, guys, we'll wrap that up there for today. Thanks so much for watching, as always. Smash the like button if you are enjoying our Bard adventure. Subscribe if you want to see more from me. And here's the most important part, as always. You all stay happy, and I'll see you soon. This is Happy Days, signing out. See ya!